Jansson from Liseberg here in Gothenburg, Sweden. We're back uh, literally about a year ago we were here. Yeah. Hello and welcome from Liseberg. That's how you say it, apparently. And it's been a year, we've aged some, some well, a considerable amount in my eyes. And we've gained some knowledge and we're back here to have a great time over two days, two days of jam packed stuff. Lots to look forward to. Uh, there's a concert on here later today, so we've got that to look forward to. The tree's coming. It's literally there. We've got a behind the scenes tour tomorrow as well to look forward to. So that's going to be awesome. I'm getting attacked. <laughs> Zoe the tree said. He wants to be in this vlog. Zoe said, oh, stand, stand, stand in the tree so the light isn't as bad. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. This time we can take it much more relaxed. We can enjoy the park, enjoy what it has to offer, like some Helix, Boulder, all of that great stuff. And we're here thanks to Jordan Middleton, Cakes and Coasters, because of her blog. She ran a competition to that celebrates theme park content and we managed to win. And thanks to her and Lisa Berg, we're here pretty much for free. So a massive shout out to her. Check out her blog in the link in the description below. Um, and we're here because they voted for us. And so yeah, you guys nice. voted, so <laughs> cool. Um, so yeah, no, we've done one ride so far. Been a busy, busy entrance. Everything was a bit jam-packed. Um, so one thing so far, which is... That thing, Helix. And boy, what an awesome coaster Helix is, yeah? It's been good to get back on it. Um, it wasn't quite as impactful getting on it another time. You know, it's not our first time on it. Yeah. But it's still a fantastic ride, nonetheless. So that's number one. So many more rides to do. So much more time here. There's a lot to look forward to. some more rides here and made some good time. Uh, first of all was the ride behind us. Boulder, Balder, whatever you want to call it, the wooden roller coaster. And Zoe, what do you think about that? Helix is my number one, but that ride is so funny that it's just like the most enjoyable one. Yeah. I found that funner to ride than Helix was. I don't know why. It just felt... I, there was just... I don't know. Yeah. It just makes you laugh the whole time. It does, it does make you laugh the whole time. So, yeah, Boulder, really good. We did it in the middle row. Uh, a few friends of mine suggested trying the middle row for a more floaty experience, and, and it was. So, um, that was good. Then it was on to Valkyria. A good ride, solid ride. I don't know. It's a bit on the edge. Once you do the drop and like the first few things, it's kind of boring. I don't know. Yeah, and. I don't even think the drop is very good. Yeah. Like I, I prefer the rest of it rather than the drop. And we were like on the back row and we couldn't see anything. You we could just see the other like people. You can't see the drop at all, no. Oh. No. We'll definitely ride Boulder again. Yeah. Hopefully many more times. Today and tonight. Hopefully get a few night rides on it if possible. Last time we came we didn't do the rapids, which is right behind us. In front of us. Um, so we're gonna do that now and then Zoe's requested to do Loki Loki, which is uh which is the intermin pendulum swing, whatever gyro thingy majiggy. So uh, we'll give you our thoughts after those. So we're back. We've done the rides. Um, we had a nice ride on the rapids. Let's talk about Loki first, because we're running in the background. Lo Loki, what do you think, Zoe? What do you call Love it? Loki? Loki, we'll, like we'll Loki. call it Loki. It sounds like Loki. It's a Loki, a good ride. <laughs> Loki, uh, the best ride here. Not good. Well, not, not quite, but maybe the best flat ride, you know? But um, it's fantastic. Gives you ace views. Uh, Fantastic forces. It's quite forceful going down into the, the bottom bits. And it just goes up as if you're gonna go over the top. And yeah. it's literally like you're about to go over. It is. It's very cool, very cool. We also enjoyed the rapids thoroughly. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Basically, Weird. it was quite smooth and nice, and we weren't really wet at all. Like, we had no big splashes. And then Harry's like, oh, yeah, 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 it's all over. And then as soon as he said that, we went through this bit where it was Everything like... was going. Everything. There's bits on the rapids that like 
are walls that push the water from side to side. Yeah. We got wedged up against the wall and a wave of water just went over the boat. We didn't get too wet from that, but there's loads of other things like other boats crashing into you, yeah. water jets that would just come out, like water's fired from things. It was all happening. It, it was so gradual and then it was all happening. Yeah. So, but it was good. Um, we missed that last time, but really sad that we did because it's a fantastic yeah. rapid. Very cool, very well done. There's Leesburg Banana, as I like to call it, Leesburg to go. Banana. And a few more things. I'd, I'd like to go on Aerospin. Got to do Boulder more times. Uh, we've got to have a look at the concert as well. So, we've got to eat loads of food as well. It's all to play for. It's all to play for. We are in a Ferris wheel. Big one. It's quite echoey. So pretty much right now we're doing... Well, we're, we're just seeing things that we haven't done last time or didn't do last time. No, you I know? don't know why we didn't do this. It's probably because we didn't have enough time. Yeah, we were eight hours, one day. It was pretty busy, so... But it's nice to just take the park a bit more chill. Uh, we've had a look around some of the areas we didn't really get to spend much time in. And we're riding the rides we didn't get to ride. What did we go on? We went on Leesburg Banana, Leesburg Banner. Yeah, no. It's jank. It is. We rode Jetline, similar ride, the other week, a few weeks ago. Smooth as butter. Yeah. Perfect. This is janky as hell. It throws you about I quite a lot. I can't believe you didn't remember how janky it no, was. No, no. It's good. There's some good forces on it, but man, yeah, it's pretty jank. Harry forced me on the drop tower. I did force you on the drop tower. I didn't true. cry this time. No, you did well. Which I cried last time, yeah. so that's something. What do you think of it in the end? I do not like it. If you could go up and just be there and drop, I'd go on it. But I don't like going up so high because sh show them how high it is. It it's on a hill, right? So you're already high and then there's a drop tower like on the hill. So you're double high. Yeah, you are double high. And it's high. not funny. I thought it was better than last time. I remember it being very forced and very boring. As soon as it dropped, I got this you know, the, the feeling in your stomach where it's weightless. I really quite enjoyed that one. Uh, I don't know whether anything had changed since last time, but hey-ho. So we've got just less than five hours left of park open. We're booked at a restaurant for eight. We are. I think the concert starts at nine, so all of those people are being really eager and just getting seats. Yeah, this is part of our prize. Yeah, so we have a reservation that looks over the concert, which would be very cool. Yes. So looking forward to that. Um, and then it's just onto some night rides and stuff, which would be also very epic. I spoke and as you saw we did many things, many things. I think it started with um, Up Sphingit, the little flat ride which we did. I like that, Harry felt sick which is a bit bizarre. Yeah, I usually like those kind of flat rides but that one didn't sit with me that well but hey ho. Up Sphingit was good, then it was on to another ride on Boulder, our second ride of the day on Boulder. Quality, we did back row, pure yeet Love time on the back, it's awesome. Then it was on to the food that we're talking about and the show. So we had the food in the show. The show was, it was cool. I mean, it's, a, it's quite a surreal experience having a concert in a theme park. And also uh, the experience of you having a nice dinner with like a concert happening right next to you. Yeah. It was, it was kind of weird. It was kind of weird, but it was kind of cool at the same time. So I can't really argue against that. So just as we were trying to film the outro to this day, everyone started to leave Leesburg. As you can imagine, with a the concert, there was loads of people there. Loads of people bunched up into one area, so everyone was trying to leave at that point. Because uh, the concert finished just as the rides finished going as well. But we didn't stay for all of the concert, obviously, because we wanted to do night rides on things. So we left about halfway through the concert, went straight over to Boulder, did two night rides on Boulder, 
um, fantastic, properly going, properly holding, you know, every, every hill you're thrown out of your seat, you just can't see anything because it's pitch black as well. It's great, very, very good quality. And then it was on to Helix. So up the hill, onto Helix, and we did first the back row night ride, then one and more so in the middle, then we ended it out of on last train of the day on the front, which is very cool. It was cool. Yeah. Because you could see all the track because it was all lit up by the headlights. Mm. So. so yeah, a nice variety on there. So no, we've done well. We didn't expect it to go too well because of how busy the show it was for the show. But it turned out people kind of just came to the park and didn't really experience the rides because they were too busy, you know, the concert and all that kind of stuff. So managed to do, what, four on Boulder, five on Helix, and then like one on everything else that we actually cared about. Tumon Park. Uh, it's already immediately a lot busier than it was yesterday. We managed to rush in and ride Valkyria. Then we just about went to do Boulder, and the queue was wrapping all the way around. It's... There's Boulder. It's there, basically. Huge queue. Probably, what, like nearly an hour, 40 minutes, something like that. So instead, yesterday, we bought some tokens, and throughout all of these like Swedish theme parks, you find one games, random games, but you find those at every theme park. But the second one is like Wheels of Fortune. So, and that's how you win big chocolate, basically. So we want to win some big chocolate and play some games. So that's what we're going to do now. So instead we did some of their little games and Harry did the shooty one. We have to shoot these targets and you can win Toothless from um, How to Train Dragon. It's like a cuddly toy of him. Didn't win. So I'm a bit guide, but, uh, but he won some sweets, so... <laughs> tried one of the spinny wheel thing? We tried a spinny wheel. I'm not sure if we're going to win that. We have, four in left. our pack, we have four left. And you have to pick a number like out of all the numbers on the wheel and if your number comes up then you win. The odds are like insane. That's the point though. I don't I don't think we're gonna win it. Now, as you can tell, we're on the Ferris wheel again because it's the shortest queue line. And they have an aircon. Just we were kindly given a tour by Pontus who offers a behind the scenes kind of view of the park for certain people and we were lucky enough to qualify and get that and man that was so surreal, awesome, cool, it was everything wasn't it, it was just, it, it was really bizarre uh, but, but really cool so we got to see loads of maintenance sheds, uh, we saw Helix's train sitting in the maintenance bay as well. We saw loads of operator cabins, how they all work. Uh, Pons just talked about how the system works and how you know you can only dispatch your train if all the restraints are down and all that kind of stuff. Loads of things. Loads about the park's history and all of that kind of thing. We took a lot of footage of inside of all these things so you'll be able to see. But that'll be a whole separate video because there's so much content there. We also got to write our name on Boulder. We did. We got to write our name on Boulder supports. I wrote it very badly. <laughs> Uh, but we did that anyway. Yeah, man, we've got we've done so much. He gave us a tour for three and a half hours. 
which is mental. I thought, yeah, a tour is going to be like 40 minutes. It's going to blitz us through everything. Yeah. No, he honestly, he's such a nice guy. You know, he, he really cared about what we were seeing and he was always open to questions and I always tried to think of some. So, yeah, no, it was awesome. So thank you so much if you're watching Pontus. Thank you so much for offering this and to the park, Lisenberg as well, for, for doing this. It's, it's been awesome. Anyway, for us, we've got two things to do. We've got to eat and we've got to blow our tickets on the games. So, uh, let's go. Just put all of our tickets that we had left on the chocolate Wheel of Fortune and guess what? We bet on letter C for Coaster Bot. And we only won it. <laughs> Can't believe it. It's amazing. And now we have to get this back in our case. 2,000 grams of chocolate. I was adamant that we uh, weren't going to do it. It was spinning. I was like, we haven't got this. We haven't got this. And then our first, we have five numbers. Our first number got chosen. Like, I'll have that. So, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, in other words, we're going to be fat on the next vlog you see us. We're going to be fat. It's cool stuff. Um, we haven't really been doing anything. We just played that. We've got a few more games to go. And then it's on to probably only two night rides. One on Boulder, one on Helix. Just because it's still really busy. But happy days. At least we've got chocolate now. <laughs> That's it from our two day trip to Liseberg. We've experienced everything again, been on loads of rides, had a fantastic time. Uh -huh. We've done much more this time than we did last time. It was great to have two days at the park instead of just one, you know, to give us time to try all the smaller things and experience everything a little bit more. Uh, so what have been some of your highlights? Winning the chocolate. Definitely winning the chocolate. That, that, that was, was a very hilarious. good feeling. Yeah. Um, I have to crack into that later. Boulder. Boulder, yep. Yeah. Solid ride. Obviously Helix, because that's and my Helix as well, one. yeah, definitely. Both of those at night are two fantastic rides to experience, so definitely if you come here and you are able to get on some night rides, definitely stick around for them, because it makes a world of difference, you know. One of my highlights actually was when we were with Pontus, he took us in the maze, the, the little scare maze, uh, something hotel, I can't remember what it's yeah. called now. Uh, and it's just like a horror walkthrough. So we got to go on that, and I was at the front of the line, and that was pretty terrifying. Uh, Zoe, nearly, well, Zoe nearly died a few times, but she's all right. Going to a concert, a theme park was very cool. Yeah. Quite a surreal experience, and something very, very different. The entire behind the stage tour was just really cool, and I'd never done something like that before, and it was really awesome to see, you know, all of the backstage stuff. It's, it's fun to just be in the backstage areas, yeah. you know, and just see it all, see, how, how it all happens. Um, so that's definitely a highlight for me and I'd love to potentially do more of those in the future. If you've never been to Leesburg, you know, and you're thinking about going, definitely hit it up. It, it's, not only is it a great theme park with a, a great selection of both roller coasters and flat rides, and soon to be a dart ride next year, mm -hmm. um, it's just a nice place to be. It's a nice atmosphere to be in. It's always a great atmosphere. Yeah. The times we've visited have been, it's just been a fun, fun theme park, fun day out. Make sure you watch the behind the scenes video when that comes out. Not sure when it will, but uh, stay tuned on social media, at Coasterbot on every platform, Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, and uh, you'll be sure to know about it there. Uh, you can also check out our podcast, at Coasterbot Rambles, where I'm sure we're talking about more about this park. Anyway, Thank you for watching this one. Make sure to subscribe and uh, hit the bell button. Can't forget about that nowadays. Um, but that's video from here. Thank you all for watching and we'll see you next time.